what the woman did tell us, I don't think I told you, that one of the members uh, actually died in there. One of their members died up here. Really? Yeah. So you know what the member's name was? She wanted to tell us. She said like, she don't want to be known public. The Fairport Harbor Lighthouse overlooks the mouth of the Grand River near the shore of Lake Erie. Built in 1825, it was initially called the Grand River Light and stood only 30 feet tall. But in 1871, the original structure was replaced by a 70-foot sandstone tower and adjoining keeper's quarters. Over the course of 100 years, the lighthouse guided settlers into the Western Reserve and serviced the Great Lakes shipping industry. Now, the lighthouse and keeper's quarters commemorate Ohio's maritime past. A pilot house from a former Great Lakes carrier has been attached to the museum and gives visitors a taste of life aboard a real cargo vessel. The Fairport Harbor Historical Society maintains nautical exhibits throughout the house and provides guided tours of the tower. And though the lighthouse possesses an intriguing naval past, it has a rich history that reaches far beyond its maritime career. Tales of ghosts and enduring spirits permeate the ground. To investigate these claims, orbs came to the location in hopes of capturing evidence of the paranormal. As is customary for the team, a small group of ghost hunters stays late into the night to find and document ghostly phenomena. They are searching for a number of spirits that may haunt the museum. The team will attempt to communicate with various lighthouse keepers that lived and died in the building. Ghost cats have been seen as well. While installing air conditioning in the museum, one man found a mummified cat tucked inside a crawl space. To help the Orbs team catch this spectral cat, special assistance has been called for. Edward, a husky German Shepherd mix, was brought in to sniff out the cat. Well, I got him from the Humane Society. He was about three years old. Uh, he's taken in from the house. Uh, he's here to be the official Orbs ghost uh, hunting dog, so uh, evidently there's a uh, phantom cat running around this lighthouse, so we're here to find evidence of that. With a wide assortment of ghost hunting equipment and Edward's animal instincts, Orbs prepares to turn out the lights and begin the hunt. As night arrives, Forbes has the museum under careful watch. Investigators rotate between the lighthouse and the keeper's quarters, watching, listening, and feeling for signs of paranormal activity. Immediately, activity is detected in the basement. An EMF detector, which measures electromagnetic fields, is positioned at the bottom of the stairs and lights up without warning. There is no obvious explanation for why this would happen, but ghost hunters believe it may indicate the presence of a spirit. This is a noteworthy anomaly because it was in the basement where the mummified cat was found. Minutes after the EMF detector goes off, Edward becomes anxious and avoids the right half of the basement, straining against his leash to get out. I see Edward's acting completely different in this room. He's fine. He'll go anywhere in here. It's very unusual for him not to follow Josh anywhere. Very unusual. In hopes of luring in the ghost cat, cat toys are placed throughout the museum. They act as trigger objects and are meant to stir up paranormal activity. Upstairs, investigators hunt for both the cat and other spirits. A member of the Fairport Historical Society reportedly died on the second floor. Forbes tries to make contact. There's one of the lighthouse members in here with us. Can you come forward, please? Can you walk over to this yellow box that's on the table and can you touch it for me? They also look for Robbie, the boy who died of smallpox, and for lighthouse keepers to step forward. Soon, a K2 meter, which functions much like an EMF detector, goes off in the hallway. 
the team repositions to get a closer look. It's another important find, because the hallway is where the ghost cat is allegedly seen. They huddle around the K2 and try to call the cat to them. They keep audio and video recorders running as they attempt to entice the entity with toys and string. It doesn't take long for Chris to have a paranormal experience. I was laying down in the hallway where they uh, said the ghost cat was, and uh, I was laying on my stomach playing with some cat toys and that, and I actually heard a low growl type of sound to the left of me where the banister was. Inside the lighthouse, Orbs encounters even more strange energy fluctuations. They use digital voice recorders to capture EVP, or electronic voice phenomena. This method is used to record ghost voices that will sometimes not be heard until the recording is played back. The lighthouse, which is 60 feet of spiral stairs, is a challenge to investigate. But for all their hard work, Orbs is rewarded with an array of EVP. This first instance of EVP was recorded at the top of the lighthouse. After an investigator asks what the cat's name was, there's a faint whisper that seems to respond directly to her question. What was the cat's name? What was the cat's name? Here it is again with the whisper isolated. This second recording was also taken at the lighthouse. It sounds like a cat meowing inside the building. You still feel it? Yeah, I can still feel it. Cast it away. 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 The next EVP is a strange one. You'll hear a voice that clearly states, I'm paranormal. And here it is again. The last recording was also taken inside the lighthouse. You can hear a distinct voice echoing through the tower. He wanted you to turn the camera on. So. Here's the isolated audio. For more evidence and information on the Fairport Lighthouse and other investigations, visit the Orbs website at www.bandedspirits.com.